The young sister to the typhoon, the Tempest Five is one of Britain's latest blows at Nazidom. She embodies all the best features of the typhoon, and her redesigned wing and later Sabre engine give her outstanding performance at all altitudes. If you know the typhoon, you'll see plenty of familiar shapes. But let's get down to the job of recognizing the tempest. The wing shape and the unusual fin give us a good start. And as she comes into head-on, we can get down to diagram. See that squared off effect of the nose. And the wide, straight center section. That's enough to tell you she's a tempest five. Seen this way, the shape of her nose and the heavy radiator are obvious. But it's the whole aircraft you've got to look at. That wing is quite different now. There's a curve to the trailing edge. And the tips are blunted. Look at the fin. See that unusual fairing on its leading edge. Once you know this aircraft, you can never mistake her for anything but a tempest. That nose gives you an idea of her power. Look at the jutting jaw below the high spinner. The nose dominates the whole of the fuselage right back to the sweep up of the fin. Side view, you can still see the features you know already. Powerful nose with jutting jaw, and here's a new thought. Doesn't that fuselage look tubular? Even though in this case the camouflage hides the radiator. Right at the rear, there's the fin with its sweep up and curves which help to make the Tempest easy to recognize. When she peels off, you get your first good view of the tail plane set well forward. Fix that wing in your mind's eye. Remember, she may not always have the distinctive markings. Almost straight leading edge, forward curve of trailing edge, and blunt tips. The Tempest has an inline engine, but from below, her nose is short and blunt. The whole impression is that of a thruster. Camouflage won't always fit as well as this, so let's clean her up a bit. You might think the wing had sharp dihedral from roots, but you know better now. That effect is caused by the curve of the trailing edge. Anyway, there's plenty besides. Fuselage, tailplane, and the fin you ought to know so well by this time. Now watch the Tempest going through her paces, so that next time you see her, she'll be no stranger. for a final runover of the points to remember. Square nose and wide center section. Jutting jaw and fuselage which gives a tubular effect. A fin and rudder that you won't forget. And finally the tempest wing shape.